Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. I'm Allie, she's Jojo, and she's a little bit on the mouth shy side. And today we are going to be working with this and desensitizing to just a little child's water gun. We'll see. Please subscribe, new content every week. Go with the uh, water gun challenge. Now, when I got Jojo about a year ago, you could not touch her mouth at all and she's still not incredibly fond about it but nowadays with daily work we've been able to touch her nose and she's okay with it and I can start to stick my fingers in her mouth but I always want to watch where her head is and you know we're working with that she still you know has a little bit of issues but she will let me relax and put my hand on her so we've gotten pretty good with that however she hates work Oh yeah, it's bad. If you want to check out another video, check out the warming video. It's just, it's not good. She had learned to evade warmer by putting her head up. So we kind of changed the tactic and I want her to get used to something plastic around her head. So we're going to do like plastic desensitization. Somebody said, oh yeah, uh, put some applesauce. She hates applesauce, it didn't work. So now I want her to see the plastic object. And she was okay with it, so we take it away. Remember the release, and good girl is gonna be your thing. Now, this particular horse also really likes to be scratched right here. That's a good reward for her and something that calms her down. And she also likes a nice wither scratch. That also calms her down. So if your horse gets too amped up, you know, and they, you wanna look for a reward, think about the things that they like. But she's looking and chewing, so she's getting pretty good with everything. So I'm gonna make her, she can see it with her eye. And I want you to put your nose on it. Put your nose on it. There we go. Put your nose on it. So she actually has to touch it. Come on, put your nose on it. There we go. And release. Always get the release. So now she has to put her nose on it so she's okay with it. Now I can start kind of rubbing it around. Oh, she evaded me. So I instantly followed, held it there, and then released. I kind of released a little bit too early. I need to release when she's just being like that. You gotta be really careful with these sort of things. Now, if she puts her head up, we can hold it there and we ask her until she puts her head down. There we go. And release. So we're not trying to pull on her, but we want her to not evade. That was a good response. See how that time we put her nose up to it? She put it down here where we can get to it. All right, so instead of up, let's go towards us. All right, so that's a much easier way, but she's actually coming into our pocket. There we go. And I'm able to rub it on both sides because she is, she is good with flexing. So there you go, I get a good flex and a release. So she's already bringing her head anywhere I want to and meeting the object. All right, <clears throat> now we're gonna really step things up a notch, make sure she's cool with it. We're gonna add a little squirt squirt. Woo! <laughs> That kind of scared her, that's okay. But we're gonna keep it on her face and I'm gonna shoot it up in the air. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> She's like, oh, I don't like this. But let's go back to being calm, back to being calm. Oh, I know I do. I did something bad. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I know. I freaked her out with a squirt squirt. Mm -hmm. There you go, rub it, rub it, rub it. Rub it, rub it, rub it. There we go. See, back down to where she trusts me again. I didn't really scare. I'm going to take that outside hand, come on baby, outside hand, and I'm going to rub it. I'm going to bring my inside hand, there we go, and I'm just going to rub. Now remember, my ultimate goal is I want to be able to squirt this in her mouth, <laughs> okay? And I want her to see it, so I'm going to bring it out here where her eye can see it. I'm going to hold her head while I'm doing it, and I got a little bit of a reaction. Now, I had my head turned away from her, but she needed to get used to it. So I wanted to be able to squirt. So I'm making the noise. There we go. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. And it's funny, this thing, she has a squirt bottle. She's perfectly fine with the squirt bottle. <laughs> this really got her. So, uh, ooh, ooh. now, remember, see, look at her here. She's gotten into this really agitated state. So we're going to go back to things that are calming for her. Easy. And I'm going to use this object 
and just rub it around on those parts that she likes. Remember? Easy. Easy. There we go. And these things that she likes us doing. You going to be okay with it? Put your nose on it. Put your nose on it. Put your nose on it. Come on. There you go, good girl. <laughs> there you go. Back to putting your nose on it. There. Back to putting her nose on it. Come on. Put your nose on it. Put your nose on it. Come on. Come on. No, you can't avoid it. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. There. As soon as she tries to evade me, I have to keep my hand up there. Oh, that was good. Now let's ask her to bring it in. Come on. Okay, so obviously not all horses are easy and it's going to take time. But the basic point is I'm going to keep that little pistol with me and I'm going to start messing with her mouth with it every day for short periods of time until she eventually will let me put it in her mouth. And that may or may not take that much longer. It just kind of depends on the horse. So you just have to listen to your horse and have to convince them. So much for joining me in today's video. And if you enjoyed the video, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. 